We're all good. Okay. Hey, I'm Jeremiah Shiflett. I'm from Lord Fairfax Community College. Um, at the moment, I'm working as part of a round four Department of Labor TAC grant uh, project that's called Knowledge to Work. Um, and initially, what we did was take seven programs in high wage, high growth areas um, that the college offered, and we converted them to a direct assessment competency based education version of those programs. Um, and then part of our, our larger vision was to take that work in identifying national competency frameworks um, that stacked and latticed in other credential areas um, and then all, present all of the uh, resources that we had mapped to those competencies and put them into this uh, new ecosystem sort of uh, learning, self-directed learning portal uh, that we've put together called highered.org. Um, so just within the, the narrow bandwidth of information technology, we use the American Computing Tool and Machineries uh, competency framework um, for both uh, two certificates, so, well, CSCs, um, so higher ed folks, you know, it's a, it's a big deal, to, the specificity, and I guess we'll get into that more when we talk mm -hmm. about the term alternative credentials and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and then also um, HIM, and so we have a, a national partner with AHIMA, American Health Information Management Association. Um, we're actually working to build a new national credential in health informatics to bridge the gap in HIM between you know the the people doing the health information management work and the IT side of it because you have to have very specific knowledge in those areas. Um, so then we have the HEMA framework and we've layered in a number of their credentials um, along with our CSC and our associate and then we also have administrative uh, support technology. Um, we have a search engine repository on highered.org. Um, and we say OER, but really it's kind of all sorts of different resources. I mean, we have YouTube videos, we have stuff from Khan Academy, we have traditional courses, we have books on Amazon. So we were, we spent a lot of time, you know, researching the data elements that drive competency-based education. We were members of uh, IMS Global and we looked uh, at a lot of the work that they were doing and trying to understand, you know, all the moving data points on how to track artifacts relative to competency-based education. And we came to the decision that we needed to present as many different types of resources in as many different learning modes um, so that we could you know, satisfy all these different needs. And, and if you think about it, there's not really a good repository at the moment where you could go and say, hey, I want to go to the Commons and I want to you know, look at Sailor courses and I want to see how all of those things might fit together in different frameworks. So um, you know, as we move our project forward, we're, as the grant wraps up and we start rolling this thing out on our own, we're you know, looking for all sorts of people who are interested in this area to, to come forward with frameworks and, and competency mappings and uh, you know, resources. You know, might be your particular courses that you want to have offered in our portal. And, and then that way we can continue to grow this thing and, and, um, and, and reduce barriers. And that's one of the reasons why we're here. Um, and we like Sailor so much is that you know, we did a, um, some usability testing early on and, and there's just a feeling that people get relative to higher education in general where, you know, some of the words that I remember people saying were, it, it was like filling out the FAFSA. You know, going through admissions in, in, in a college setting is, is a lot of paperwork and it's confusing. And, and that in itself is a barrier. So I like that, you know, Sailor, you can just go and take their courses. You don't necessarily even have to make an account. Um, we, we tried to, we, you can use our search engine repository, it's completely open, you don't have to have an account, um, but we, we narrowed it down to I think seven questions um, that, that you need in order to create account. So you know, we're trying to just reduce barriers, remove confusion whenever possible uh, to, to enable people to do their own learning. And, and we really see it as, as, a, as a bridge because you know, one of the things that, that people run into a lot in, in thinking about higher education is a commitment factor. And so how, how do you know what you're getting yourself into until you've really got into it and you've started doing some learning? So this is a great way that people can, with zero risk, um, as far as money is concerned, to go and look and see what all the educational you know, milestones are in a, in a career pathway. They can explore and sort of evolve their own understanding. And then when they're ready to go to get a credential, um, they can go to a credential provider or maybe they need more support services and they need to go to a university or institution. You know, and it's all about just leveling the playing field of the mix of all those different things.